different you, you know you fought at different weight classes throughout your career at uh at welterweight and at middleweight can you just tell us the difference for you between fighting at welterweight and middleweight and you know which you prefer and what just the differences are um i guess being able to eat more <laughs> and uh a little bit more cheat meals but uh even this fight you know when we were scheduled for this fight um i had to slow down in camp you know because i was kind of on the track to go to 70 you know so that's i know i said that the last fight but you know um as long as i stay active you know it the uh, me fighting at welterweight is is very uh possible you know so the next fight that i'm targeting is is at uh welterweight you know it's just that you know with these year well, with the last yeah i think i actually fought may what may 6 may 6 of last year so you know me having a year off of fighting you know it's just you know it's not good for me so as long as i stay active and you know then i can hit you know be in welterweight you know for, but like i was saying when i was in this camp it like kind of towards the end i was getting too low you know to the point where i was like well i need to keep on some of this weight so you know the 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 plan is get this fight out of the way and, and get back to my division is there anyone you're targeting in that division obviously we have the the interim title fight coming up next week would the winner of that be someone you'd like to face i am i able to face somebody like that i'm not even ranked i think i'm uh, as you said the rankings I don't, know. don't matter yeah it doesn't but i mean if if they're going off of the rankings i'm not even in the rankings in welterweight so i don't know do you feel like you're underrated because like looking down through your record here, obviously the five wins in a row but you've beaten the likes of neil magny masvidal robbie lawler i could go on and go on and go on do you think you're one of the most underrated fighters in the world at the moment yeah i i, I it just depends you know I, I i look at it like people who really know mma know who i am and 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 i get the respect that i deserve but as far as like a household and you're just average mma fan no they're not gonna know because you know i'm just i'm me you know i've been that way for years i'm not i don't need to talk shit and try to sound corny and all the other things that fighters do yes does it work for some of them yes it does but you know i've, I've been in this game for a while i stay true to myself you know and i've just been whooping ass so you know as long as you can always look at my name and look at my track record then you know that's all that uh i can expect from people